Today, I'm going to show you guys the method that made me over a million coins already in FIFA 23. It's really easy. It is SBC solution trading. I'll show you the SBC real quick, and then I'll show you kind of how we're making coins off of it. We're going to go to hybrid league gives you a 100k pack you get a 50k pack for completing this specific SBC and it's the first 11 challenge now with this challenge we're going to move over to the window capture now this challenge only has four nations I believe that work and that is Brazil Argentina France and Spain and that's how we are basically making our coins it's with this SBCs whenever the whatever the cheapest nation is at the time those are the cards that are going to be going up in price it's super simple we look at these SBCs, you see the solutions, everyone's like, oh, this is the cheapest solution. I'm going to buy these cards. And it's really as simple as that. Now, there's not, not every card works. Some of them are kind of crappy. You got to look at the graphs of the cards. For example, this Romero guy probably never works. Um, Ultimendi maybe moves sometimes. Godoy, uh, a couple of these cards seem like they move a decent amount. I know uh, Tagliafico works, Servi works. I'll give you a couple of the examples of players that I did. So... Uh, what I like to do when I make these investments, I buy a ton of the cards and I like to play the game. I actually really, really enjoy the gameplay this year. So I'll buy, say, 50 surveys and then I'll go play draft. I'll buy 50 of Sebastian Palacios and I'll go play a draft. Let's start with survey, for example, though. I've been doing a lot of this trading on stream. I've been slacking on YouTube. Apologies about that. But Twitch has been killing it. Here we go with survey as you can see he was down here at a thousand coins and i was like yo that's kind of too cheap for an sbc card the bids were super super easy at a thousand coins we picked up a ton of them we can't see it here the graphs on footpin you can't go off of them sometimes too much because it's a little slow at the moment footpin is so let me just pull it up real quick i have a screenshot of when i was selling mine and boom here we go survey actually ended up going up to four thousand coins i sold mine for three thousand four hundred and we made a ton of coins off of that play it's basically just investing in these SBC solution cards when they're low and then waiting for them to become the cheapest solution and and that's all I've been doing you can actually sit here too if you don't want to you know wait and play the game you can sit here wait for the cheapest solution to pop up let's say we see this all right this is the cheapest one we see let's say Tagliafico or when I, I did this earlier on stream I saw Palacios when I did this earlier on stream I saw Palacios he was six something I think he was six nine slash seven k and then he spiked I think this was the spike right here maybe exactly I actually ended up selling mine for eight thousand nine hundred coins and I bought them for like I think six nine seven thousand around there and that was just me going here, refreshing. I saw a new SBC and I bought a player from the cheapest one. Here we go with a Brazilian one. You can see the Brazilian players here. It's This is literally all it is. Just learn the prices of these SBC cards. Now, you kind of know what the play is with these cards. Um, at nighttime, it gets a little slow. The best time to be doing this is around content time. But the thing is, tomorrow, or whenever you're watching this today on Friday, we have the Once to Watch promo. There's going to be a lot of supply. Everyone is now on the game. We could be having some promo packs. That is going to make a good amount of these cards probably go down in price. And with that, you could probably buy in. We did that today on Thursday. Thursday, we had rewards. We had marquee matchups. And that supply made quite a few cards go down. I bought Oscar for 7K. I went and played a couple drafts. And I just had them listed up for 9K. And they all sold. It's, it's really, really easy. This Gerson's, for example, whenever he goes down to 3K, I buy him. He goes up to 4K all the time because of these SBCs. It's, it's kind of a simple play. You can see his movements here in his graphs. That's it. Another one we did, Philippe. This was the craziest one. This one, you get lucky sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky, and this was like a big break kind of luck. I picked up quite a few Philippe Andersons for about 6,000 coins, and on Wednesday... A bunch of us bought him. You can see down here, 6K, 6K, pretty 6.5, pretty much. He actually ended up peaking at six, uh, 13,000 coins. I sold mine, I think, for like 12.5. It was insane. And that's it, guys. That That is the SBC Solution Trading. Learn the cards. I, I showed you a few. Felipe Anderson, Servi. Watch their trends. Now, it's not going to be the same. You're going to have to kind of feel it out a little bit. Tomorrow, like I said today, whenever you're watching it, we're going to have everyone on the game, the ones to watch promo, at content, there's going to be a lot of pack supply. I would say 
one to two hours after maybe when all those all that supply comes through there's a lot of bids you can hop on there's going to be so many coins you can make picking up these cards like this guy oscar if he gets cheap this is one of the cards on my radar if he gets low same thing with philippe anderson kind of servi palacios if those cards get cheap they're on my radar i'm keeping an eye on them on friday watch them watch their bids another thing it, even if you don't necessarily know how to do this SBC solution trading, you can just trade with the cards in general. You don't even have to know anything about the SBCs. If you're good at sniping, maybe at content, there's a ton of bids. You can get crazy deals on bids. You can get Oscar on bid for super, super cheap at content when there's a lot of bids coming through. You got to wait for the hour mark. So say content six o'clock, an hour later, all those bids come through from content. So, you know, just understand that. But if you don't understand the whole process of trading with these SBC cards, snipe them. It's very simple. This Oscar pops up all the time for super cheap. People are like, oh, it's just Oscar, you know, Brazilian. I'll list them up for 2K. I'll list them up for 1K. They pop up really cheap all the time. The cards that do really good popping up for really cheap are some of the gold commons. If you can figure out which gold commons are in the SBCs, I know Carl's Gill is one of them whenever spain is the cheapest solution he usually goes to like four thousand coins but right now he looks like he's chilling around two thousand eight hundred coins now with the gold commons if you're on a very low budget you can make so many coins because people are like hey it's a gold common i'm just gonna list them up for 400 coins and it happens 1800 coins boom i am so bad at sniping so i don't do this i just personally i buy 100 Oscars, 50 Philippe Andersons, uh, 50 Servies, and then I go play draft because I really like the gameplay. But you can sit here and snipe. I'm terrible at sniping, so I don't. But just keep going. Keep sniping. They'll pop up at 400. They'll pop up at 500. They'll pop up at 450. It is so easy for you guys to trade with these cards. Now, that's pretty much it for this method. It's super easy. If you watch my streams, you'll see I'll sometimes send my coins into one player. I go play a game and when I come back, their nation is the cheapest solution. And then I make 50K, 100K, just like that. It's stupid easy. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Sometimes the luck doesn't go your way, but most of the time you're going to be making a good amount of coins. Now, I only showed you the first 11 SBC. This works with pretty much every SBC that people are trying to do. A new SBC comes out, SBC solutions are gonna be great for them. Uh, all the advanced SBCs right now, the Hybrid Nation, Hybrid League, a lot of people, the game just came out, a lot of people are doing them, so those are doing pretty well at the moment. So if you want, you can take the ideas that I just showed you with that first 11 SBC, you know, add it to other SBCs and make coins that way. But I am just doing the first 11 because it's four nations that work and it's just like clockwork switching between them. It's kind of like constant coins. I don't like France. I don't like Spain. They don't jump as much as the other, as Brazil and Argentina. I just kind of stick to Brazil and Argentina players usually. But guys, I have a free trading Discord. If you want more tips like this, my Twitch stream, I stream every single day. I've been going eight hours on. We have VIP trading Discord. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free to get into that Discord. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.